Hey, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. A nuclear power plant in Sweden is being inundated by moon jellyfish and had to be shut down this week to avoid a potential nuclear disaster. The Oskarsham nuclear plant located in southeastern Sweden was forced to shut down its Unit 3 reactor after tons of jellyfish flooded the plant's water intake pipes. The 1400 megawatt boiling water reactor provides 10% of the country's power and is the largest in the world. The cesium-133 prototype wristwatch is the first atomic clock shoved into a wearable watch. The watch contains a cesium atomic oscillator which will only lose one second over every 1,000 year period. The guts of the wristwatch are thought to be a chip scale atomic clock built by Symmetricon, which is a $1,500 clock light enough and small enough to fit inside a wristwatch, but we're not totally sure. The cesium-133 could eventually retail for $12,000. NASA's Cassini spacecraft has found propylene on Saturn's moon Titan. Propylene is a chemical used to make everything from plastic bags to car bumpers. This is the first definitive detection of the chemical on any planet or moon other than Earth, NASA said. Cassini was able to identify a small amount of propylene in Titan's lower atmosphere using its Composite Infrared Spectrometer, or SIRS, an instrument that measures infrared light and can identify particular gases glowing from their unique thermal fingerprints. If you look on the bottom of some household plastic objects, look for the recycling code 5. That means it's made of polypropylene. Google's Project Loon uses weather balloons to broadcast the internet from high above 99% of the Earth's surface. Google recently released a video explaining exactly how the balloons survive near spaceflight without popping. Keith Banowitz, Project Loon's computational choreographer, that's a great title, explains that flying these balloons in the stratosphere is similar to flying in outer space but with crazy wind patterns. Using weather data from the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, as well as GPS tracking on the balloons themselves, they are able to predict wind patterns and figure out where the balloons are headed. As they collect more data on wind patterns in the stratosphere, it will be better able to predict wind patterns and deploy more Project Loon balloons providing free internet to more places across the planet Earth. Marina Schifrin became famous when she danced her way out of her job by producing this cute video as her way of saying, I quit! Well, the video went viral and at last count has over 13 million views. The company that she left was Next Media Animation, which is famous for their amazing animation videos. Long story short, they produced their own dance video as a retort to Marina to show that Next Media Animation is an awesome place to work. Turns out Marina might have the last laugh though because Queen Latifah hired her. So, you looking for a job? <laughs> yeah, do you know, are you hiring? <laughs> this week, Crave is giving away the Nuance Dragon Naturally Speaking Premium 12 speech recognition software for PCs from Nuance Communications. Go to the blog and enter to win. Nokia and the University of Southampton are partnering together in a world's first to research how to harness the natural power of lightning to charge a phone. We have mains voltage coming in at the bottom, which is stepped up by this transformer to 200,000 volts. And we have an air gap, which will have a discharge down through this transformer and then into the charging circuit of the phone. We're able to take this massive erratic voltage and the phone is able to smooth that charge out. This is a first step into understanding uh, the power of natural lightning and being able to harness its energy. 